servicing a condensing boiler is much the same as servicing a non-condensing model, with just two extra procedures. You'll already be familiar with the procedures required to service a Riello burner. You'll make your usual checks on the combustion chamber, including the rope seal around the access door, and you'll inspect the baffles and the primary heat exchanger. Now to the two simple extra servicing operations that are specific for Grand Vortex condensing boilers. The first is inspection of the secondary heat exchanger and the spirals, known as turbulators. These you take out, often small pliers can help. Inspect, clean and then replace. And the tube should also be cleaned. The second servicing procedure, which may be new to you, is inspecting and cleaning the condensate trap. This is vitally important. So, it's that simple. Just two easy extra procedures. Some boiler models do have specific features. For example, working on the outdoor vortex combi has been made more convenient and safe by the use of a five pin electrical isolating plug to make all electrical connections to the boiler. You simply remove the small catch, withdraw the plug, and the entire boiler is electrically isolated and safe to work on. With system versions, there are other things to check. The pressure relief valve to ensure it's not stuck in the closed position, and the expansion vessel to ensure correct charge pressure. The system pressure should also be checked and refilled if necessary, and after filling, you must disconnect the filling loop. If you find yourself confronted with an unexpected problem, you'll find a very useful fault-finding guide in the user, installation and servicing instructions supplied with each boiler. And of course, you always have the comfort of knowing that help is at hand, that the expertise of Grant's technical department is just a phone call away.